Writing does not come naturally to me, as I'm certain you can imagine. Let me guess, you're composing a love poem. I couldn't, not even if my life depended on it. It's not that hard. Yes, it is. Poetry takes finesse, it takes grace. You think you don't have those things? Historians will one day ask what happened at Adamant Fortress, in the Fade. I was there. I saw it with my own eyes. It must be recorded. What you write could be used against the Inquisition. Ha! <laughs> and everything else we do paints us in such an innocent light. Do not be concerned. I am a poor writer, but not unaware of the weight my words might carry. I still don't know what to say about the spirit of the Divine. I saw her there, heard her voice, Yet I cannot claim with certainty it was really her. The Chantry teaches us that the souls of the dead pass through the Fade, so it could have been her. Yet even so... Do you really think it might have been her? A ghost? A ghost. A remnant of her hopes and memories. Her lingering will to do good. Those things are all possible. Nobody knows for certain what happens after we die. A spirit could have assumed her form, but why? It helped you, as Justinia herself would have. Perhaps it doesn't matter what she really was then. It matters to me, to what I must write. I must interpret what I saw, yet I am no priest, no philosopher. I am a warrior. I think it was a spirit, that's all. Perhaps it saw Justinia's soul, and admired it enough to carry on her wishes. I hope that's true. I want to believe it. When I realized we were physically in the Fade, I was terrified, almost beyond reason. The last time such a thing happened, we created Darkspawn. We created Corypheus. The world needs to know the truth this time, no more legends lost to the ages. <laughs>